Hello everyone, I'm Xu Fengzhou. I'm planner to present our work, HF detection, uh, H2F detector, a gene-based fraud detector with homophilic and heterophilic connections. I will details our work from following four aspects. As we all know, the fraud detection is a vital task and are widely used in network security, e-commerce, in review and man management, and other critical areas. Recently, graph-based fraud detection approach, especially gene-based ones, have got lots of attention in both acad academic and industrial communities. These methods utilize relations among entities to reveal the suspiciousness of these entities at the fraud graph level. Based on the assumption that fraudsters with the same goal tend to connect with each other. However, fraudsters often conflict themselves by connecting with many bad entities to elevate the gene based detector. As shown in below picture, the fraudster A is not only connected with fraudster B, but also connected with two bad entities which will fall gene-based detector into de deciding that A is binary. Current method sets the connection between fraud and the binary as noise. They only utilize the home family in fraud detection and ignore the difference among the neighbors with different levels. As shown in below picture, current method we will filter all neighbors of fraudster C, which makes the neighbors information of C missing, resulting C is hard to be detected. To address this issue, our paper aims to simultaneously model the homophilic and heterophilic connections in the fraud graph, assimilating the nodes with homophilic connections and discriminating the nodes with heterophilic connections. In order to achieve this goal, we, uh, we should solve the following challenge. Challenge 1. How to identify H2 connection in a fraud graph. In the training set, the labels of our nodes are given, so we can easily get, get the supervision signal of whether a connection is home fake or heterophilic. This connection class here could be modeled jointly with the fraud detector. Challenge 2. How to design the gene aggregation strategy and the mixture of H2 connection. During the process of gene aggregation, the homophilic connection should propagate similar information, while the heterophilic connection should propagate dissimilar, dissimilar information. So, the key point is how to model and utilize the similar information and dissimilar information among nodes. Challenge 3. How to utilize the category features of all knowing fraudsters to identify new fraudsters. In product, product, practical application, some fraudsters may be trapped in over many banner entity neighborhoods, and these fraudsters can only obtain dissimilar information from banner neighbors, but lack of information of similarity from, the, from other fraudsters. So we aim to capture the category features to have a review of the suspicious of a central node. Then, let's see some important definition in our work. For homophily and for home and heterophily, as two pictures show, the colors, the color, the color of nodes represents category. If the two nodes connected by an edge belong to the same category, then the edge is homophilic. Otherwise, the edge is heterophilic. We formulate the fraud, fraud detection as a H2 connection multi relation graph. This graph definition is shown in the formula. V represents the nodes, X is the node features, Y through R plus. Is the home field connections in R sub subgraph. If through R minus is the heterophilic connections, it is worth 
noticing that the homophily and the heterophily or connections are learned through model. Next, we will introduce our methodology. Our method includes multi-layer convolution, and each layer is made up of three components, each connection identification, each connection aggregation, and the prototype extraction. The pipeline of the pipeline for H2F detector is shown below. I will detail all the components in below. Firstly, the picture, the labels of many nodes in the further graph are unknown, so we can't directly judge whether these edges are homophilic or heterophilic according to whether the labels are same or not. Based on the assumption that nodes with the same label are similar and the nodes with the different labels are dissimilar, here we design a H2 connection identification model with an end to end pattern to measure the similarity or difference between nodes, which can avoid the introduction of a threshold hyperparameter. Firstly, we transform each layer's features with multi layer perception. Then we identify the connection type, connection type with the end point features. To get a more accurate decision of a connection type, we add an auxiliary loss to learn it by introducing the supervailing signal from the known label nodes. In aggregation strategy, to aggregate both homophily and heterophily connections, we use a connection type MU, MUV to mix a homophily neighbors, transmit a positive message. The heterophily neighbors transmit a negative message. To adjust the width of a neighbor aggregation adaptively and reduce the inference of noise, we adapted, uh, adapt a multi height attention mechanism to set the aggregation width. The main formulas are shown in PowerPoint. Based on two connection aggregation, we can obtain the representation of a node. However, some fraudsters are trapped in over many binary entities, uh, and uh, these uh, fraudsters can only obtain the information of interclass dissimilarity from uh, binary neighbors, but lack the information of uh, interclass similarity from other fraudsters. To solve the problem, we introduce a category information with prototype. We adapt, a, we adapt a prototype for two reasons. First, the prototype is, the, is in line with our original design intention, which uses, uses labeled DIT to find the approximate category center of each class and then mix a sample within the class more similar by shortening the distance between each sample and the prototype. Second, the prototype can be easily plugged into our entire model architecture. The, the, process of, the process of prototype is tracking in PowerPoint. In the end, we take the out of, output of our last layer as the final embeddings of nodes and uses cross entropy as our class fiction loss. The final loss is a combination of three laws. It is worth it is worth noticing that to reduce the inference of sample imbalance, we employ under sampling technique to train H2F detector. The specific process of under sampling is shown in PowerPoint. Then we will detail our experiments to verify the effectiveness of a H2F detector. We conduct our experiments onto real world for the detection sets, EFCHR and Amazon. We combine with the seven data of art gene based R methods. The details of data size and baselines are shown as below. We design experiments to answer the five questions. Question one is the heterophily prevalent in fraud de detection? Question two. Does H2F detector outperform the SOTA methods for graph-based fraud detection? 
Question 3. How do the methods, modules of a hydrophilic perception and a prototype instruction benefit the prediction? Question 4. What is the performance of H2F detection with respect to different hyperparameter? Question 5. Can H2F detector further effectively shorten the distance between fraudsters while extend the distance between the fraudsters and binary entities? For the question 1, we count the heterophilic ratios in two data types. As we can see, this region subgraph includes a large number of fraudsters whose heterophilic ratios are very high. Consequently, heterophilic conditions are widespread in fraud detection, and graph based fraud detectors should consider both homophilic and heterophilic conditions simultaneously. Then, we compile our method with the all baselines to answer the question 2. Question two. From, from the table, we can see that our H2F detector significantly boosts the performance. To answer the question 3, we derive two variants of F H2F detector. H2F detector HP removes heterophilic perception process. H2F detector PE removes the prototype extraction process. The performance of two variants decreases significantly, which shows the effectiveness of two modules to H2F detector. To answer the question four, we evaluate the performance of H2F detector with respect to hyperparameters gamma one and gamma two. From the left picture, we discover that all the uh, that the all metrics are relatively stable and the trends are consistent consistent when gamma one is around one. From the picture right picture, the performance of model dec decreases and then improves as gamma two gets higher. And finally it remains flat. To answer the question five. We visualize the node embedding of different models and we take E of CHID set, for example. According to the results, we conduct that a heterophilic neighbor pro provides information about the difference between classes, which can be used to distinguish the, 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 rep the representation of uh, the further nodes from a data of band nodes. Otherwise, our method produces the strong intra-class co coherence and inter-class segregation, which verify the H2F detector can introduce global information and distinguish the two connections more accurately. This is all my presentation. Thanks. I th thank you for that very, very interesting talk, some very impressive work. Um, so yeah, as, as usual, we have a few minutes for questions. So if, if anybody has a question, please, please shout or, or type it into the chat and I can read it out. Um, but um, so I actually I have a question just on the, based on the last slide. I, I know it's gone now, but in, in the last slide of the visualizations, you showed Kind of, I guess, some sort of like Tisnier UMAP plot of the node embeddings, and I'm just, I'm a little unclear. What were the colors? What did they represent? They, they weren't the class, were they? Or were they something else? There was red and blue. Uh, the red class, uh, the uh, nodes, or the red nodes represent uh, um, uh, the uh, the band entities and the. Uh, uh, blue nodes represents the uh, fraud doctors. So we can, uh, we want to see, uh, see uh, if they uh, separate, uh, if they uh, separate by the models. So uh, we visualize the embedding. I see. Um, was this a subset of the graph? Because it looked like there was a similar number of uh, yes, both yes, classes. Yes. We ran I some for some uh, uh, nodes. To, uh, to embedding. I see. Okay, because uh, I guess in these data sets it's very imbalanced, right? There's there's very few 
uh, instances yes, yes. of fraud. I see. I see. Um, yeah, I, I don't see any questions yet. Does anybody have a question? Um, I, I have another one, in fact, <laughs> if that's OK. Um, so I, I saw I, I like the comparison with with a variety of different graph neural networks. But I'm curious about. Uh, well, is it possible to compare your method with non graph neural network based approaches? So are there other kind of graph algorithms that can be adopted for this task and how well would they perform if, if you know? Uh, uh, you mean the, the, the other ETM based method uh, would suppose is, is this task? Well, I, I guess I'm asking is, is there any non graph neural network based approaches that are suitable for this task? Uh, Mm. Our motivation is uh, to uh, unionize uh, unionize the uh, homophilic and heterophilic connections. Uh, if mm -hmm. other uh, uh, networks uh, can could uh, could uh, combine this uh, um, uh, connect this uh, connection types, uh, it might uh, um, also be uh, boosting the performance. Uh, we also okay. compile our work with uh, uh, the current uh, uh, methods uh, based on home freely and head freely connections. We uh, find that our method is uh, the best uh, performance. Yeah, no, I, I see that. Yeah, no, very, very impressive. Um, that makes sense. I, I'm just curious if there was kind of work from before graph neural networks that could have been compared with, but um, I, I, I see that the method this is definitely the best performing graph neural network based approach, which is very impressive. Um, yep, so I, I think in the in the absence of other questions, I suppose we can move on to the next talk.